Okay, well, City Cars really was born out of our space options business. Our space options business is really a kind of urban development vehicle, uh, and the me is a response to the challenges that we encounter in that kind of development process, uh, namely every time it's space and air quality. It's the constant planning remit that we get back. Um, two years ago, as you know, the mayor announced ULES was coming. Um, a couple of weeks ago now, the 8th of April, probably actually came into force and uh, it will make a profound difference. I think people are still slightly in denial because it really only affects central London. It's really affecting small businesses that have delivery vehicles. Um, but in about 18 months time, it will extend right out to the ring road. And at that point, it will become a reality for everybody. Um, our position within the market, really, because of our experience in pairing uh, urban environments, is really that our, 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 our me is, is, is really focused at that environment, which means it will appeal squarely to developers, to home builders, to housing associations, local authorities, and of course, small businesses. Well, the, the, the price is £11,500, which is a, an unbelievable price for the vehicle. Um, what you have to understand is, when you do the sums, let's just take some scenarios. So let's just say you're going into central London every day, and say you're either living in Mill Hill, or you could be living in Cobham, and say you're doing 10 miles in, 10 miles back, 20 miles. So let's say 100 miles. Let's not include the weekend, 100 miles. So if you do the sums with the congestion charge over 36 months, and you do the road tax under 36 months, not include parking, it comes to £14,000. So effectively, by buying me in 36 months time, you would have saved 2,500 pounds. I mean, they are really quite simple vehicles. The, the two-seater is a sort of a no-thrills uh, commuter. It sits on a tiny footprint of about 2.2 meters by 1.2 meters. So it is half the size of a normal car, meaning you can get two into a parking space. We have a box van, uh, version, which is a little bit longer wheelbase, obviously. Um, it carries up to about 300 kilos of payload in a, a space of about 1.4 meters by 1.2 meters. So it's a pretty good last mile delivery vehicle um, and still fits in really small parking spaces. And we have a pickup derivative of that as well, which we've had quite a bit of attention from. Actually, for people outside of London, people that work in agriculture, when we first started looking to create me, um, we were very aware of the councils and boroughs and planning policy. And with all the different planning policies in the UK, there's 33 different boroughs going into London. And within the boroughs going into London, they've all got different policies. And with regards to all the different policies, there is a big problem with parking. For us, our focus is on the urban environment where the me is very much at home, and at just around um, £11,500, it, it, we think it offers a perfect solution. Of course, small cars, electric cars, are very helpful, they are great, but they don't really address the real problem in the same way that a microelectric vehicle does in creating much more space for everybody in the city. With the me, that it does do 90 miles, and of course, if there was a commute of, say, 25 miles each way, the me would be more than comfortable with ease to do it. When you use the word EV, most people use the same word, will be. And um, we're very proud that with the me, it's not will be, it's available now. It can be driven now and works now in the city. And in partnership with that, we've developed a product called a Cali Post, which is very simple and attaches to the vehicle and allows you to elevate the charging cable up and over the pavement to connect it to an extension lead into a flat or an apartment or in, into a, <clears throat> a high level window so that we don't have any cables trailing against the, uh, across the, the, uh, the pavement. But of course, it's a very simple solution to a problem that we never used to have. So maybe lots of people haven't had a go at solving it, but it just seemed obvious to us. It means that in fact, everybody that says to us, I'd love an EV, but you know, I don't have off street parking are suddenly in a position where maybe two, three, four, five times as many people could consider moving over to an EV because they can charge in their street, pretty much outside their home, from their own electricity supply. 